Hey guys, welcome back. I am pretty sure that this is going to be the finale today. Are you ready to confront Kid Boo? Yes. Ah! Whoa, that's loud. <laughs> Can't someone shut him up? <laughs> what is he doing? Does he want to blow up the whole entire planet? Hey Boo, if you want to blow up the planet, that's your business, but fight us first, you coward. Uh, we're not going to be able to stop this. We better grab the boys and Piccolo and then use instant transmission to get out of here. Good idea. We're not going to make it. Grab on. Poor Gohan. That was the first time Gohan died in the show. Same thing with Goten and Trunks, too. I think that was Piccolo's second time dying? Superb, you're still alive. Gohan, Goten, Trunks, Piccolo, I let you all down. Idiot, how could you? You saved the Namek boy and that big oaf instead of your own sons? Have you lost your mind? How could Boo destroy the Earth? It's all gone. The Earth is gone, you say? Who are you trying to fool? Where do you think we are right now, huh? Put that in your diaper, old man. Please, you don't know what you're saying. This isn't Earth. This is the hollow planet of the Kai's, and he's not just a man, he's a Supreme Kai. He does look kind of funny. What's a Kai? Some kind of purple leprechaun? No, the Kai are the illustrious overseers of the universe. So if they're so great, why didn't they stop Majin Buu? Wait a second. This must be a dream. Just a dumb dream. First of all, I'm the strongest guy on Earth, so there couldn't be anyone stronger than me. Second, there's no such thing as pink monsters or purple men with pointy ears. It all makes sense now. I'm just dreaming and there certainly aren't any little green men who guard the earth. But sir, now that I know this is a dream I can do whatever I want. I bet I could even fly. Good God. How can this hurt so bad if this is just a dream? Do you see what we have to put up with because of your incompetence, Kakarot? Everyone look at this. What is it? Looks like a bunch of rocks. It's what's left of Earth, but look at it. Pink blobs. It's Boo, he's reforming. Of course he is. Did you think that blast was powerful enough to destroy him? He just used instant transmission. Now he can travel at the speed of light. This is terrible. With instant transmission, he can destroy an entire solar system in less than an hour. Wait, what about the Dragon Balls? What are you talking about? They were destroyed with the Earth. No, I mean the ones on Namek. Good thinking, Dende. If we use those, we can wish back the Earth and all the people who were killed. I don't mean to alarm you, but Boo just blew up another world. He keeps blowing himself up and then reforming. What an insane creature. He's looking for Goku and Vegeta, and he won't stop until he finds them. And with every planet he destroys, he's getting closer to the other world. If he were to start destroying the other world, it would be terrible. The people here are already dead. If they were to be killed again, they would be gone forever. The only answer is to call him here. That way we can fight him away from any innocent people. Of course, let's do it. If we raise our power levels as high as possible, he'll be sure to sense us. There he is. That was quick. Yes, we can fight as we like here without worries. Please leave now, you guys. Get out of here. If you stay, you'll just get in our way. We can't fight to our full potential if you're worth if we're worried about your safety, I can't speak. <laughs> so you're just going to demolish our sacred planet? Very well, kick his butt for me, will you? <laughs> now that they're gone, who goes first? Let's settle this with the old-fashioned way. Rock, paper, scissors. Scissors. Rock. Rock crushes scissors. You win, Kakarot, but there's a good chance I'll get my turn anyway. <laughs> well, here goes. Oh, he's going full throttle. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the big one. Oh, dude, he's splitting too. Uh, you can stop now.
good god. this is your turn but I'd like to cut in if it's okay with you yeah sure be my guest be careful Vegeta peekaboo ah uh, transform let's do this real quick oh my god how many is he splitting off into okay let's do it You can stop doing that friggin' power blast already. Vegeta. Kakarot, I can't do it. I'm no match for him. It's over. I'll take over for now. Amazing. How do you do it, Kakarot? You're always ready to meet the challenge. Even if it's bigger than you are. When you became a Super Saiyan so many years ago, it tore me apart. How could a lower class soldier accomplish so easily what I had struggled my whole life to achieve? I lived every moment for the sole purpose of surpassing you. But no matter how strong I became, your power still exceeded mine. You showed mercy to your fiercest enemies. You never fought to kill or for revenge, only to test your limits or push yourself beyond them. Uh <laughs> But perhaps it was my anger that made me blind to the truth. I see it now. This day has made it clear to me. You're better than me, Kakarot. You're the best. Me, Boo, kill you. Well, you wouldn't be the first to do that. But what I represent can never be destroyed, Boo. Oh, God. I need time. Where did Boo go? He's just like letting me do this come on here we go all right boo Transform again. <laughs> I feel like a hamster in a wheel. It doesn't matter how much energy I put out, I still don't get anywhere. Why don't you take over for a while? You know better than anyone that I don't stand a chance against Boo. He'd tear me apart. What? You'll do fine. Don't give me that. I know what you're trying to do, Kakarot, so forget it. 
Go get him. Don't worry about me. You are Super Saiyan 3. You should be able to generate the power to destroy that monster. Well, maybe I could have done it when I was at full strength, but I let the fight drag on too long so you could have a shot. I should have done it while I had a chance. Now I'm weak. I'll need time. How much time? If I even have one minute, just one minute with no interruptions. In this fight, a minute could be an eternity. Yeah, kind of like the Tournament of Power. <laughs> Alright, you got your minute. Wait, you could get killed. If I can't last one lousy minute, maybe I deserve to die. You are not playing as Vegeta. I don't even know where Boo is right now, so. Taking advantage. Fight me! Oh god. Oh god. I'm just gonna grab a quick meal real quick. Yeah. Get wrecked, boo. What's going on? I should have been able to gather all the energy I need by now. I need more time. Duh, oh, Vegeta. Do you think I'm just going to roll over and die from an attack like that, Majin Buu? You're nothing. I'm a warrior, the prince of Saiyans. Holy crap. This is not good if Vegeta gets hit by an energy attack of that magnitude. He's a goner. Boo, how long do you think, really think you can get away with these injustices? Hercule's about to take care of business, and the real battle's about to begin. Laugh while you can, because I'm going to knock that smile right off your ugly face. Oh no, not him. What did I do to deserve this? You're at your way with Goku and Vegeta, but now let's see how you do against the world champion. Mm hmm. Oh, please don't hurt me, I was only kidding about that stuff I said before, really. Didn't mean any of it. I'm begging you, don't hurt me. Whoa, Boo, are you okay? Boo, wake up. Alright, that's it. You're going down, mister. I'm going to tear you. I'm <laughs> gonna tear you from limb to limb? I don't think they needed the from part. Oh, God. No, not my nose. You just defaced a national monument. You leave alone. Him, Boo's buddy. What's going on, Kakarot? How long is it going to take? There's something wrong. I was almost up to full power, but then it started to slip. When I was training in the other world, Super Saiyan 3 was easy. But now that I'm alive, it's taking twice as much energy. This is bad. There must be something we can do. I have an idea. Supreme Kai, Dende, Old Kai, wherever you are, if you're listening, I need to talk to you. We're here. What is it? Good. I need you to go to New Namek right away. Gather the Dragon Balls quick. Now, hurry before it's too late. I hate to pry, but what's your plan? Kakarot, how many times have, the, have you saved the world up until now? Gosh, I'm not sure. A ballpark figure. <laughs> well, half a dozen at least. Well, it's time for the world to fend for itself once. Elder Mori, it's really you. It's good to see you haven't forgotten us altogether, Dende. Elder, we're in great danger. Please help us, sir. With your permission, we need to summon Purunga as soon as possible. We've already gathered the Dragon Balls for you. Vegeta, it's me, Dende. We're on New Namek right now, and we have all seven of the Dragon Balls. We just need to know what your wishes are. Got it. Now listen carefully. This is very important. I have two wishes to make. First, I want the planet Earth restored to its original state. And second, I want all the people who were killed since the morning of the martial arts tournament to be brought back to life. Except for the evil ones, do you understand? No, I'm not sure I understand. How is this going? Dende, I'm putting my faith in Vegeta's plan, and I'd like for you to do the same as well. 
Okay, what do you want the third wish to be, Vegeta? Only those two matter, so what you... Uh, so do what you please with the third wish. Why have you awakened me? Name your first wish and I shall grant it. Uh, Boo is not doing too good against the other Boo. Kid Boo is kind of wrecking him. Shoot, Kakarot, do you feel that? Yeah, the good Boo is losing energy and fast. He won't last. We're running out of time. Blast it all. What's taking Dende so long? Your wish has been granted. The people of Earth have been restored to their home. We did it, Vegeta. All the people are back. They're alive. Superb. Hey, Vegeta. Your halo disappeared. And since the evil people weren't wished back, I guess that means you're a good guy now. Hey, where are we? I think we're back on Earth. That means we're alive. He's right. Our halos are gone. I got it. Your plan. You're going to have Gohan, Goten, and Trunks fight, aren't you? Wrong. It's time. Let's do it. Time for what? The spirit bomb. <laughs> That's your big idea? A spirit bomb? That didn't work against Frieza. What makes you think it'll work now? Do the people of Earth even have enough energy to beat Boo? It'll be enough. Do not underestimate the collective power of the human race. We won't just take a little bit of energy. We'll take as much as they can possibly give. Say, Vegeta, any ideas about the third wish yet? How about this? I need to speak to all the inhabitants of Earth at once. So you want to speak telepathically to the whole planet? Sorry to interrupt, guys, but I can arrange for that. Planetary telepathic communication is my specialty. When you're ready, go for it. People of Earth, listen carefully. Some pretty strange events have been taking place recently. Your entire planet was destroyed by Majin Buu. But then, in a snap, everything was brought back to normal. I can assure you it was not a dream. Majin Buu is still alive and the Earth is still in grave danger. A small group of warriors have been fighting for you. We need your help. We need you all to raise your hands to the sky and offer up your energy so that we can use it to defeat Majin Buu. Now let's begin. Raise your hands up now. That was Vegeta. It was really him. Let's do it, everyone. Hey, it's working. This just might work, but something's wrong. It should be getting bigger by now. What was that weird voice? That was crazy. I'm not giving anyone my energy. Some type of mass hypnosis. I know I should have put my tinfoil hat on this morning. Those idiots, don't they care about their own world? They're like children. Everything has to be done for them. When are you earthlings going to grow up? It's the holdup. Why isn't anyone giving their energy? We don't have much time. Every second is vital. We might as well give up now. They aren't worth saving. Wait a second, Vegeta. Think about it from their point of view. Would you obey a strange voice that came out of the sky? They're frightened. Think you should try again. Alright. People of Earth, please, I beg of you. We're running out of time. Raise your hands before it's too late. Don't let Majin Buu destroy you and your children. It's working, but it's still not enough. Not enough people are listening. Oh no, Boo. He's finished. Now what are we going to do? We need more time. I'm going to buy you some more time, Kakarot. Hopefully those nitwit earthlings will come to their senses. Oh god. They kind of just threw me into that one. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to fight again. Oh god. Hang in there, Vegeta. Dude, I'm not even doing any damage. Oh, God. Run! Super Saiyan will protect me. Um, Give me a dinosaur tail. Holy crap, that's a lot of health. Pretty sure if I just run around him... <laughs> seconds. Oh god. Over here, boo. Up here. Down here. People of Earth, we need your energy, please. Who is this guy? He's different than the other one. I almost believe him. 
I think it's scandalous. I mean, really, who do they think they are to talk to us from the sky? Yeah, how dare they? Please, time is almost up. Don't you fools care whether you live or die? So we're fools now. That's no way to ask for a favor. What's wrong with you ingrates? Can't you lend us a hand? How many times have I saved you, huh? You can't help us out? That was Hercule. You're right, that's him, all right. Yeah, if that was really the champ, why didn't he talk to us sooner? Please don't doubt me. I was working undercover. That's why I didn't speak to you sooner. I was keeping my identity secret. Now raise your hands up and lend me your energy so that I can defeat Majin Buu. Nothing personal, Goku. They wouldn't do it if they didn't think it was me. And at this point, the only thing that matters is defeating that Majin Buu, no offense. None taken. Way to go, Hercule. Raise your hands, it's the champ. Go, Hercule. Oh, holy crap, that thing's huge. Here it comes, Vegeta. Get out of the way. Ah, oh, Vegeta, no. I can't do it, Kakarot. I can't move. Vegeta, you gotta get out of there. What are you waiting for? Fire that thing right now. I can't, Vegeta. Kakarot, be a true Saiyan. Launch the spirit bomb. Don't disgrace our efforts with this sentimental rubbish. <laughs> Way to go, Hercule. He did it. Way to go, champ. You really are a hero. This is for you, Majin Buu. It's for the, it's for the people of Earth. Spirit Bomb! Here we go. Holy crap. Even after all that, he's still... He's pushing it. This is bad. Oh crap, he is pushing hard. Why are you dragging your feet, Kakarot? Finish him. I can't, I'm out of power. Great, this is just great. Wait a second, Dende. Can you hear me? What is it, Vegeta? I need you to come here and heal Kakarot. I'm sorry, but we can't do that. I've used up all my energy teleporting us to New Namek. I can't make it back. Then the people of Earth are just going to have to give us more energy. They can't. If they give any more of their energy, you'll be draining their vital life force, and they'll all die. What does that matter? We have no choice. Hercule will tell the people of Earth that we need more energy. But I can't. And then we don't stop Boo, and the entire universe will be destroyed. Maybe you're right, but I can't. It would destroy me. I've been a shameless fake all my life, but they all believed in me. They love me. So if I turn my back on them now, what will that make me? Not even I can sink that low. It would be worse than death to betray them like that. You fool, I was the one who had Dende wish the Earthlings back to life. If it wasn't for me, they'd all be dead right now. Wait a second. The wish. We still have a wish left. Of course, Purunga is still waiting. So wish that Goku's power level will be restored to full strength. Got it. Hey, Goku must push the spirit bomb into Majin Buu. Press the A button as f oh no, <laughs> as fast as I can. Oh god, time to break my controller. I hope you can hear the tapping because I'm going crazy right now. Dude, I cannot hit that any faster. What? <sighs> There's no way I can't hit that any quicker. Dude, I am going crazy with the A button. What? <laughs> it looks like this is the end of the road, Boo. It's a shame. When I first met you, I could sense good in you. You were a naughty little child that didn't know any better. But then I watched you become a ruthless killing machine. You were a living nightmare, and you didn't show a shred of mercy or decency. That's why it has to end this way. 
Whew. I am tired from mashing that A button. Oh, I think we're doing it. Phew. There he goes, everybody. Kid Boo has been destroyed. Maybe you'll come back someday as a better person, I hope. I'd like that. We'll have a little one-on-one. -on -one. Sayonara. I'll be waiting for you, Majin Buu. And so Majin Buu was destroyed. Goku summoned Shenron and wished that the people of Earth would forget about the terror of Majin Buu. Blissfully unaware of the horrors that had taken place, humanity returned to their peaceful lives. Head for Capsule Corporation to celebrate the defeat of Majin Buu. <sighs> Good to see you're back safe and sound, Goku. I'm sorry to say that even though Buu is gone, Things have become more dangerous here on Earth. There are new types of enemies showing up around the world, so be careful. Oh, yeah. That lets me go to the other world. Oh, God. Uh, capsule Corp. Capsule Corp. Capsule Corp. Here we go. Entering this area will start the final sequence of the game. Are you sure? Chapter 12, A New Beginning Oh look, it's Tien. That Goku, who does he think he is? We throw this big party to celebrate the defeat of Majin Buu, and of course he's not here. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. I can't believe you, Goku. When you were dead, at least you had an excuse to not be around. Where have you been? We've all been worried sick. Well, it's helping these pterodactyls protect their eggs. You should have seen them. So helpless and fragile? You are so lame, Goku. But at least you were protecting some helpless babies. Come on, everyone. The food is ready. Hey, Vegeta, come over here and join the party, will you? If you insist, Kakarot. And so, finally, Goku and his friends could relax and enjoy themselves without the weight of the world on their shoulders. Until Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> Ten years pass since that fateful day when Goku defeated Majin Buu. Many things have changed. Oh, we get to do this part, too? Videl and Gohan have married and had a child. A young girl named Pan. Grandpa, I'm going to enter the world tournament. That's great. Pan is entering the tournament, but there isn't a junior division anymore. She's going to have to fight with adults. Don't worry, Pan could hold her own in any division. Trunks and Goten have grown up. My dad's making me enter the tournament. I actually had a date for tomorrow night. Until he made me cancel it, that is. My dad is making me enter the tournament too. He threatened to take away my allowance if I didn't enter. <laughs> and of course, Hercule and Boo are still good friends. So here's the plan, Boo. You're going to beat up all the challengers and then lose to me in the finals. Okay. One of these days, I'm going to let you win and you can be the champion. How's that sound? Okay. Oh, hey, Goku. How you doing, buddy? Hey, Grandpa. Don't forget about me. Pan, how could I forget about you? You're my favorite little girl in the world. Are you here to cheer your Grandpa on? No, I'm here to fight in the tournament. <laughs> what? Don't worry. She'll be fine. She can handle herself, all right? We're all going to fight. It's going to be fun. All of you? Oh, no. Don't worry. If one of us makes it to the finals, we'll let you take the victory, okay? Really? You do that for me? Of course. Why not? Someone else might make it to the finals, you never know. Alright, it's time to start the ball rolling. 
fighters will now draw lots to see who will be matched up with whom in the first round of the finals. You're up to something, aren't you, Kakarot? I like how Vegeta's still Super Saiyan. What do you mean? Tell me the real reason you entered this tournament. Why is he Super Saiyan all of a sudden? Oh well. There's this one guy who signed up for the tournament, and I really want to fight him. He's good. Real good. What? Would have sent someone like that powerful? There's no one here like that. Well, it just so happens he's very shrewd. He's suppressing his energy. But somehow I know he's strong. I don't believe it. Is he an alien or something? Nope. He's an earthling. An earthling? Is he some sort of android or something? Nope. He's 100% homegrown or human being. So which one is he, Kakarot? I'm not telling. Well, since there's only one earthling standing here. <laughs> now then, as I call your name, please come up and draw a number. The first fighters go ten. Hey, Boo, I'd like you to do me a little favor. You're going to have to use your magic. I want you to change the lot numbers so that I can fight a certain guy. Will you do it? Okay, Boo do. It's not like you to break the rules, Kakarot. I know, but I have to make sure I fight this guy in the first round. That way we'll both be at our full strength, and it'll be a fair match. Next up, Goku. Okay, Boo, I want you to pick... I want you to make me pick number three, alright? Goku's number three. Next up is Oob. Okay, Boo, I want you to make this one number four. Okay. No way, this can't be him. He's just a kid. Don't be deceived by his appearance. He's the one, alright. Could you possibly know that? I don't understand. Well, it's strange, but right before I destroyed the evil Boo, I made a request. I asked him to come back as a good person, so we could fight together. And apparently, King Yemma heard my request and decided to make it happen. Wait, you're saying this boy is Boo? Yes, somehow, I just know. I can feel it. There are some other clues. Look at his name, Oob. It's Boo spelled backwards. Not only that, Oob is ten years old. It was ten years ago that we defeated Boo. Oob is Boo reincarnated. And so Goku got his wish. And at and it was at this moment that Goku went ultra instinct and absolutely obliterated Oob. No. <laughs> Uh, you can't fly, can you? You need a master who can teach you that sort of thing. You're strong, real strong. But you don't quite know how to control your energy yet. I'll bet you've never fought in a fight like this before, have you? No, I haven't. How about this? From now on, I'm going to live in your village and teach you how to fight. Does that sound good? Yes, of course, but I come from a poor family. I spend my days working with my father. Fighting is fun, but there just isn't much time for it. My family can't afford to let me fight all the time. Oh, I see. Well, we're just going to have to find a sponsor for you. I know, just the guy. Hercule has more money than he has body hair. Don't worry, you'll be covered. I'll be right back. Dad, what's going on? Hey guys, just wanted to let you know that I'm going to live in Oob's village so I can train him. I don't know how many years it's going to take, but I promise I'll visit you guys. Thanks for understanding. But I don't understand, you're leaving me again? Don't worry, I'll come visit. Hey Vegeta, are you upset we didn't get it to fight today? Don't worry about it, Kakarot. This arena is too small. When we fight, we're gonna need a whole planet for an arena. Yeah, seriously. Bye everyone. They need to do a fight like that one day in Super. Which is Goku and Vegeta just going full out. Fighting on just a random deserted planet. And just let them have like the craziest, flashiest fight they can do. Young Oob has been taken in by the greatest martial artist master in the universe, Goku. The orphan who fell from the stars to become the savior of mankind. As the two set off on a new adventure, one thing is for certain. As long as Goku lives, peace and prosperity shall reign. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The end of DBZ Boo's Fury. I know this was a quite a long episode, but hopefully you guys stuck through all the way to the end. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Oh, that button mashing thing was crazy because I was mashing A. <laughs> but uh, I, th I don't know if it said anything about moving the control pad at all. But the moment I started pushing the control pad as well, that's, uh, 
that's when it started going up faster. So maybe I screwed up and didn't read it correctly. Oh, but yeah, this this game's fantastic. Uh, just like Legacy of Goku 2. Uh, maybe one day uh, in the future, maybe I'll go and, and do the first uh, Legacy of Goku game. Uh, that would be a treat. I've never played that game ever, so that would be fun. There's another GBA um, Dragon Ball game as well, uh, Dragon Ball Adventures. It's like a side-scrolling uh, beat-em-up kind of game. Uh, so I might check that out in the future. Not right away. Uh, I kind of want to take a break from DBZ um, and, and do some other things. I have other games in the work right now uh, and games that are about to come out in the future. Uh, that I really want to do, so, yeah, <sighs> Ooh, this is, uh, this has been quite the journey, going through these two games, Legacy of Goku, and then, or Legacy of Goku 2, and then straight into this one, uh, I probably should have take, taken a break in between those games, but, uh, I had a lot of fun with this game, though. We're going to let the credits play out. Thank you to Akira Toriyama. Your Dragon Dragon King is trainee. <laughs> and there you have it, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next series. Until then, bye-bye.